y'all. This is Debbie with The Crafty Diamond. Hope everyone is well. If you are new, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. In today's video, I have a rather large unboxing, and it is for a new project that I'm going to get started on as soon as I complete my current project, which is Diana. I am going to go ahead and start on this one, and I am really looking forward to unboxing this. This is actually a cross-stitch conversion, and I ordered all of my materials and supplies through Evermoment, and that is with AliExpress, and I ordered the cross-stitch pattern through Heaven and Earth Designs, and I can show you the picture from Heaven and Earth Designs. I will also include underneath the description the link this one is A Stitch in Time by Amy Stewart, and it is a large one. I'm going to try to raise it up a little bit so you can see it. It is actually a 725 width by 518 um, high, and it is contains 87 colors. But what I did, I've been looking at this for well over a year. I loved this particular pattern but I knew it, there's no way I could have that much of canvas. I would never get it finished. I would become really discouraged and wouldn't finish it. But I've been following Heaven and Earth Designs on Facebook, and they are showing where several um, people have actually converted the one large canvas into smaller ones. So that's what I did here. Um, I decided to convert this into eight um, instead of just the one. So I have um, divided it straight in the middle and then I have um, half on each of these. So I did order eight canvases, but I went ahead and ordered all the drills at once. And it did cost me some money, I will tell you um, for a fact on that. But it is something I've been wanting to do, it is going to be my Christmas present. And I am really looking forward to this. I've heard really good comments about Evermoment. I can show you this part. I cannot show you the actual pattern because of copyright infringements. But when you're looking at converting from a cross stitch pattern into diamond painting, you will look underneath the full column and it will tell you how many stitches that's going to be the number of stitches equates to the number of drills, and you will need to use square drills on these. So what I did is I contacted Evermoment. They sent me an Excel spreadsheet to complete. It was in Chinese, but they told me what I needed to fill out, so it wasn't that difficult. It was really an easy process. So I went through and all the ones that I needed, I wanted to order all the same um, diamonds or drills through the same company instead of using what I had. So I went ahead and went straight down the line, ordered the ones that I needed, and then um, I added a couple more just to make sure that I had plenty. So then they went through and they determined how many packets of drills that I needed based on the number that I gave them. So it really was an easy process. So I'm going to open this. I went ahead and opened the box because it was packaged really well. And I knew it would be really difficult for me to do that on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and get this off. And here is a, what they call a stone list. I'm going to open this. Make sure my, I don't have um, any information on here I don't want to show. Okay, and this is the information that I gave them, and they just included this underneath the quantity. So I will do an inventory. Once I go through all of this, I'll go ahead and do an inventory of all the drills. So I'm gonna take everything out of here. And this, this package, this box weighed almost 20 pounds. So there are a lot of drills in here. And I think it's packaged extremely well. And it did not take very long for me to get this order. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these out. 
And I am going to do a kitting up on this. And so you will see that soon, hopefully. It is going to take me a while. I'm gonna put this box out of the way. And they came in really pretty purple containers. And it says Ever Moment on it, and it says Diamond Painting. Let's see if I can get this open. I don't know how many do they put in one. Let me open one and see. And it's packed in here really tight. Oh, I did get poured glue. I did not mention that. That was definitely important. I have tried this once before and with another company. And the problem was with not only with their actual canvas, but with also with the drills, I ended up just stopping. It was not on this particular project, but um, I stopped doing that one because I just could not continue doing it. I'm not sure what that looks like. There's some release paper there. I'm assuming that's what this is. I'll have to open that in a minute. I've never purchased from Ever Moment before, so I wasn't really sure what to expect on how this came in. Let's see, there's one. There's three in here. I'm gonna pull, they're all the same size. I'm gonna pull all of these out, move all of these other ones out of the way. And this was rolled in this tube, this container. So it is just a little bent a little bit, but that's okay. And this is going to take me a very long time. I expect that it will, but that's another reason why I decided to go ahead and do eight of these panels. And then once I finish, if I ever finish, then I will determine how I'm going to put all of this together. And this is really long. You can see from here over. I've got way too much on here now. But they do have the grid lines, which is really nice. And they're in tins. So you can see it's kind of hard for you to see. There may be a glare too. There's some darker lines. And on those darker lines, that's where it goes by tins. And then also you have the, the lines here that are thicker. Um, let's see, I wanted to look and see how sticky this is, how far over it goes. Okay, this is really good and sticky. And it does go over past the grid line, so I will be putting some washi there. I did have all of these a little bit longer than what it needs to be because I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of space. I didn't want to get to the end of a column or row and then realize that I did not calculate this correctly. So I am going to, when I get to the end, then I will see where I need to put my washi over to cover the, um, the additional extras, extra space, just to make sure that way I don't, I don't touch it. Um, this is really good. I mean, it's, it looks like it's really good quality. The actual plastic is really good. So I'm really pleased with that. So I'm going to move that out of the way. And again, I did get eight of these and this is going to take me a very long time. Um, there's no doubt. I know that it will. I will work on this plus other other kits. I mean, there's no way I'll just do this one because I'll never get anything else finished. This is just additional release paper that you can use. So there's that. And then I'm going to see if there's any more drills in these tubes. There should be some more drills in here. I'm not sure. Let me open these. These are not easy to open either. I'm sure there's more drills. This doesn't feel very heavy. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna look on the other ones and see if there's any drills on that one too. Just a bit. Okay. Okay. 
these do not look like they moved at all in transit. And that's you know really good coming that far. I really don't want to mess my nails up by opening these. There we go. Okay, no, those are just... These are more of the canvas. That may be all the drills. That doesn't look like that's going to be enough drills. Maybe it is. Let's open this one and see. That's three, six. There's got to be something else in one of these. If you have ordered from Ever Moment, I would love to hear how the process went for you. And if you like what you um, have seen. I don't know why there's so many. Okay, there's more there. I guess all of these are, and that just came out of there. Maybe that is all the drills. I guess there is. I'll have to go through on these drills and look just to make sure that I have all of the drills. And it could very well be because they are packaged in here extremely well. And what I really like, let's see, maybe so, because this does say like one out of nine, if you can see that there, one out of nine. And then, there's eight out of nine. Five, six, three, seven, nine, four, two. I guess this is. There's nine packs. So I guess all of these are the drills. And one thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to definitely keep these. So once I complete one of the panels or a couple of panels, I can possibly put these back, put the panels back in here. I'm not sure yet. Let's see. I'm gonna look at the drills. I'm not gonna go through all of these drills because I will do that. I heard that Ever Moment packed them more full than just having a bunch of small ones. So I'm not sure if these are like per 250 that's in here or 200, I guess. Um, that's what they may have done. And that's fine too. There's just gonna be a lot of packaging. That's what it looks like. There's going to be quite a bit of packaging that I'm gonna have to throw away. A lot of plastic that's going to get thrown away, but at least we recycle. So that is definitely a good thing. I just wanna go through some of these darker drills to see the drills um, look really good. They do not look like they have any static in them. Or the ones that I have gone through don't have any static in them. So I'm really looking forward to getting these kitted up. And one thing that I'm going to do, I'm definitely going to use Pattern Keeper. And Pattern Keeper is a program that was initially created and meant for cross stitchers or stitchers. And it helps to keep track of where you are in your cross stitching. I know that when I cross stitch years and years ago, I um, they did not have pattern keeper or anything like that. So you had to either make a copy or print out the actual the actual pattern itself. And then you had to either use a pen, mark through it, or just remember where you were. And my grandmother is the one that taught me how to cross stitch and she never marked on her patterns. She was able to just go through, she knew immediately where she was, where she stopped, and her the back of her cross stitch was just as pretty as the front. Well, mine didn't look that way. Um, my The back of mine was always a little messy, and so I'm glad that I have found this instead of cross-stitching. I haven't cross-stitched in years and years, but I'm definitely going to use Pattern Keeper. I already have it on my Kindle Fire 
The downside of Pattern Keeper is that it is only for um, iOS users and you cannot use it on um, a actual tablet um, such as an Apple. Um, any Apple products it will not work on, but with Kindle Fire, you're able to convert it over to where you can actually use it. And there's step-by-steps that is very easy to use. I will put that in the description below on the link. I followed that just to the T. Did not have any problems. Very simple. Did not take me very long. And I purchased my, uh, my Fire, my Kindle Fire last Christmas. My daughter had a Kindle Fire, loved it. Hers was getting very old and she wanted to upgrade. And so they had a really good special going on um, around, I think it was, um, it may have been even for after Christmas, like the um, sales after Christmas. So um, it may have been then and they had, you know, buy one, get another one half or something crazy. And so I got her one and then I got me one. And so I paid about $35 for mine and she got an upgrade, a really nice one. And so I haven't really used it for anything because I have a Kindle to read my books on. And so I'm going to use my Kindle Fire just for my actual pattern keeper. I won't use it for anything else. But you will see that in an upcoming video. But I'm definitely looking forward to getting into this project. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. And I hope that I enjoy it because if not, I'm going to have to do it anyway because I really invested in this. But I think I'm really going to like this. It's going to be a challenge and I am always up for a really good challenge. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if so, please give it a thumbs up on your way out, and if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to do so, and until next time, have a good crafty day. Bye, everybody.